This was a weird episode with lots of twists and turns and a reality a lot of catfishes deal with every day. A case of a catfish using others for a self-esteem boost, but we get to see the why. You want to know what bothers me, so you want to talk, let's talk, okay? What the hell are you thinking? Oops, sorry. Nick is a 29-year-old single dad. Browsing on a dating app, he found Jasmine, who is also a single parent. Well, she had her Snapchat was the so I shot her a message. But did she ever send you snaps of her? Yeah, and they were all in real time, not from camera. Roll. Nick gave her his phone number, and what do you know? Jasmine called him later that night. They were on the phone until they fell asleep. This is cute. A couple of months passed by and Jasmine was ready to meet him. By this time, they were only communicating through text and phone calls, no video chat. So this was unusual because Nick actually traveled to Jasmine's state and met her, kind of. She wouldn't open the door. She claimed severe anxiety and body issues, the only thing in the story that is real. So Nick left. He never saw her face to face. We meet up again, it's Valentine's Day. She came down and um, we talked a little bit through the door and then she eventually brought a blindfold. Jasmine kissed him, but she wouldn't let him touch her. I'm perfectly okay with stolen kisses when both people are obviously attracted to each other and waiting for it to happen, but for some reason this is kind of weird. I don't know. This woman doesn't want to show her face. He's putting all the work. She seems flirty on text, telling him to come over. But then she doesn't want to see him. Or worst yet, she doesn't want to be seen. That's weird. It seems like Nick has no problem dating. He was seeing two women at the same time he met Jasmine. I think Nick likes the hide and seek game because other men would have dropped Jasmine in a heartbeat. This could be understandable for teens, but not for grown ass adults with children. There's one time that I went there, I ordered a pizza. I sit, I wait a little bit. But you never saw her? No. It looks like Jasmine needed professional help by yesterday. But at the same time, she seems to be having fun outside with her kid celebrating the 4th of July. I had gotten tickets to the Demi Lovato concert for Christmas. She was Snapchatting live. Of Did you see her concert. at the concert? No. When will this guy understand that either he is not talking to the same girl in the pictures or he's been taken for a fool? Again, he's putting in all the work while she does nothing but being super creepy. Not to mention she's willing to have fun outside on the 4th of July and go to a concert but not meet him. Loud and clear, ma'am, but not for Nick. Apparently, Jasmine has never asked for money, but she got concert tickets and 600 bucks that Nick sent her because her car broke down. This guy is a doormat. Will you be able to forgive her and look past the deceit if she's not the girl in the pictures? Uh, I don't know. I gotta be able to trust you to, for you to be around my daughter. I am offended by that question. Would you, and I'm asking you, would you forgive someone who lied to you about their identity, openly flirted and were okay to meet, so you travel to their state, but you are not allowed to see them anymore? Then they blindfolded you, leaving yourself completely defenseless, and then they kiss you and kick you out. You buy Valentine presents for them, concert tickets, pay for their stuff, you have done everything, receiving practically nothing in return. Would you forgive them? That is the question. One of the friends on her Venmo is a guy from another MTV show. When we gave him Jasmine's number, he had it saved under Leilani. Jasmine or Leilani was flirting with this guy as well, and that is the profile they found. What about the others that may exist? Nick had mentioned he image searched Jasmine and found nothing, but the guys actually found the real woman who took no time to dismantle the lie. Hi Nick, I'm Jocelyn. You haven't been talking to me. I'm sorry. I hope you figure out who it was. He completely disregarded the fact the apartment building Jasmine was supposedly living in was being demolished. I don't know how he didn't see that. So he basically met a stranger in an abandoned building and got blindfolded and kissed. That is Darwin Award levels there. Neve got to talk to this woman and told her they all knew she was a fake and to explain herself. She accepted. When they went to her place, she couldn't go outside because she was having a panic attack. So Neve went in to try and calm her down. Nicole, her real name, is really struggling with severe anxiety. At first, I thought it was some sort of agoraphobia, but she did go to the Demi Lovato concert. I think she knew this day was gonna come eventually, but was not prepared. 
I don't want you to think that I'm some type of a malicious person because I'm not. When I made the profile, I didn't even really talk to anybody. But then when I started talking to you, it was easy. See, she's lying. The guys know about her multiple profiles and about being malicious, maybe, probably. But just because she was too busy thinking about herself, she never thought that by lying about who she was, she was hurting other people in the process. Let's just be real. You wouldn't look at me the same way that you looked at that person. Sometimes I don't feel good about myself. But that doesn't give you the right to lie to people to make yourself feel good though. I don't want to sound soulless. I understand her struggles. I can feel her choking on anxiety. But in her messages, she was super flirty and invited him to meet her, knowing that could never be. That only hurts her more. This is not the first time she catfishes a guy and she does this to feel better. Nicole has no kids and she's about to explain the Snapchat. You were taking pictures of real girls chats, right? Mm -hmm. And recording them with your phone. Yeah. So you had it all planned out. I do not accept gifts from guys. No, and, I've, I've and I said told. that several times to him. Yeah, but you took them anyway. You were deceiving Nick, but you took the concert tickets, the $600, the Valentine presents. She said she was gonna pay him back. Nick is not expecting that to happen and that is okay for him. I think the problem is Nicole's morality is a little twisted. Again, I'm sorry for her severe anxiety problem that should be addressed, but she needs to own up to the people she lied to because Nick is not the only one. I didn't think that I was going to have this profile, talk to somebody like the way that I talked to you, and kept it going. You are a great guy. You didn't deserve that at all. The crazy part is that by catfishing people, her mental health probably deteriorated more because of the what ifs. What if he catches me in the lie? What if he mets me and rejects who I really am? She fell in love with Nick because she found someone who probably didn't talk about her body, as in the body of the real girl in the pictures. They could have conversations about random things and she could for a moment forget her own identity and get lost in jasmine i don't think i've ever been right since my dad left he was such a big part of my life when he passed my whole world crumbled. i think we can all relate to her somehow we have lost a person we hold dearly and sometimes we act wacky i know someone who chopped her hair when her dad passed away others went on a shopping spree i think this happens because we can't control them leaving us but we can control how much we can spend how much hair to cut you know Nicole found control on eating, but it's not really control, is it? It's impulsivity. So after she gained weight, she felt alone and wanted to talk to people, but she was living now in a different body, a body that was holding her hostage. And it wasn't her weight doing it, it was her mind. Nick forgave her, but the relationship is not the same. They are friends and that is it, no romance. Nicole looks so much better. After the reveal, I believe she found herself so much lighter and ready to move on. A wake up call she wasn't expecting, but I'm sure she's happy it came to be. What do you think about this story? Catfishes are a completely different thing from romance scammers and love rats. There are a lot of broken spirits behind a fake profile. Some are good but troubled people and some are selfish and evil. But they are all suffering either way. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe to join the deception ship. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps. I hope you had a fantastic day or night and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.